What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run through it quickly. Cause we're not gonna be staying too long with it. All right, it's gonna be a very quick video. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly. So yesterday I've been showing you how to prepare it. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the gel. Cause the gel is important, guys, and you have to know how to do the gel. You know what I mean? A lot of people are wanna make sea mass, but to be honest with you, a lot of people doesn't know how to to make the gel, cause the gel is important. All right, the gel is very, very um, important, and I would encourage you guys try and learn how to make the gel, because the gel is a very important part of the sea mass. Because a lot of people, when they make the sea mass, then doesn't show you the next port how to do the gel. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the gel. And 100% you guys are going to love it. So basically, so when you um when you prepare the sea moss, it's going to be looking like this. All right? That's the way it's going to be looking. All right? So this one right here is ready to go. All right, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the water and show you guys how it look. Let me move it from the water. Right here, this is the first piece. So be, today I was using some to make some um, smoothie. All right. So as you can see, that looking fantastic. So we're just moving it from the water. All right, that's the sea moss right there. Beautiful one. All right, so basically, that's the way it look. All right. So right here, just to get um, the sun jar off my hand. No, you can you can rinse it off, and you can just blend it up same way. It doesn't make no difference. You can just so now we're gonna put it into a blender like this, right here. As I say, we're not gonna be too long with the show. It's just a simple one. I'm showing you guys how to do it. Put the sea mass into your blender, whatever kind of blender you are using. It doesn't matter. All right, but what you wanna do? You wanna soak it overnight. And when you soak it overnight, it will be looking like this. Very soft and easy to blend. All right. Lovely and nice. Look at that, guys. So that looks amazing. I had to say, why is she forgot to take it this time with the sea moss like that? <laughs> All right. Now, um... Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Yeah, but well, I'm going to say something to you guys. The sea mass is amazing to the amount of health benefit it have. And you know what I mean? As I say, I have it in my fridge overnight. And that's the best thing you want to do. You want to keep it overnight in your fridge. All right? Some people do scald it off. And well, um, I don't intend to do it that way. I just do it this way because it's a little bit more easier for a lot of people. All right, yeah, so now this is where the big coming in. So we're going to be using some water from the buckle. All right, so you don't want to be using too much water. All right, so you just put in enough water, me see. So basically, I don't have a, a lot of sea mass, but at the same time, when you blend sea mass, it come up like, like a gel. So you have to make sure you have enough water. All right, so I put roughly about two cups of water in it. Roughly about two cups of water. I didn't measure it, but no, that's eye measurement for Chef Ricardo. So basically, it's inside of this little blender right here, as you can see, it's a ninja. And now, now I'm bullet blender right here. So now I have it roughly about three quarter right here. 
And that's why you guys to see what I'm doing. That means if you want to learn how to make it, you can make it at home. All right. And if you want to get some good sea mass, ocean mass is the right place to go. So we're going to go for it with a blend like this. Because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So now, let's make a little bit of noise. You don't even need to blend it like you're gonna blend it for the whole day chef ricotta i'm just showing you guys what's going on so that's the way it look when you blend it all right it's important for you guys to know exactly what's going on and that's why i was i was gonna do the video tomorrow but i said no it's gonna be so you look like this so you just have to make sure you have enough water inside of it don't put too much water all right, so that's how the gel look. Now, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You can, um, as I say, you can make sea mass mass from it. You can, you know I mean, take a teaspoon every morning on a empty stomach. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this, guys. But look at that. As you can see it for yourself. Is that looking good? Yeah, the answer is yes. Looks amazing, all right? Now I got my little container right here, which I'm gonna scrape it into. All right, just to make you guys can see. What kind of guys? Scrape it out, that's so you guys can see. So this can last in your fridge for probably about say six working days. It all depends how you use it. All right. nice so that's the way all you do your sea mass at home look at that so you want to put it into a nice container and seal it and then you put it into your fridge all right so that's the way all your sea mass look guys all right so right away now i'm telling you to be honest truth you guys can do this at home so if you want to get some good sea mass um go to ocean mass dot co dot uk all right cmos yes you can put it in your fridge all right can you put it anywhere yes just put it in your big layer like fridge anywhere in your fridge but on top of your fridge just don't put it underneath the on top of eggs and all them stuff they make egg breaks and jump on it and spoil up you know once it cover it's covered good so yeah now what you want to do no guys to be honest with you it's good for you to take a teaspoon of this every morning. Just a teaspoon. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna use plastic spoon in it still. Let's take a teaspoon of it every morning like this. Very good for the immune system. And not only that, it gives you high end also. Alright? Uh -huh. Very, very nice guys, honestly. Just a teaspoon of it every morning like that. Just take a teaspoon. Very good for you. And you can put it into smoothie and a lot more stuff. All right? So that's the tips and ideas from Chef Ricard. And if you want to see part two of another video with the sea mask, because I got purple sea mask, then when this one finished, I will do another video on it. All right? So this is the gold sea mask I'm using. Now, it is winter. And I would encourage you to make sure you guys are, you know what I mean, getting yourself some sea moss, some um, lots of herbs for the winter and make sure you're making up some, you know what I mean. Please explain. Um, now, what do you mean please explain? Let me know what you're talking about now. Basically, sea moss, if you type, if you Google it. Now, this is what I want to simply say to you. If it doesn't understand what is sea moss, the only place I would encourage you to do is to go to Google and type it in and Google what are sea moss. What are the benefits of sea moss? 
and then you can learn more about sea moss because 95% of sea moss and most people call it Irish mush all right from Irish mush to sea moss so the best thing I would encourage if you do know what sea moss is the only thing I would say to you google it got me explain it to you is probably not gonna understand what I'm talking about you have to google it and you just read up a little bit of information about it but the easiest way is to just type in a what are sea moss and Google or are the benefit of sea moss, what sea moss is good for and all these things. And you can get a lot more information. Now, I will put my little bit of information in the description box. That's you guys can, um, can understand what is sea moss and below the video. I won't, I'm going to put it in it. But sea moss is very good for the immune system. It can help you to lose weight, it can help to detox your body. And fight against certain kind of information and help to build your immune system also you can take a teaspoon every morning on an empty stomach when you wake up this is and is also organic and is also vegan so yeah here you go so if you're a vegan person you can also have the sea moss all right so that's the way look you can use it for your skin you can use it on your face you can make sea moss gel with um, honey and the sprinkle on your face. When you wash your face, you're gonna like feel like a baby just born. All right. Now, that's the tips and ideas from Chef Ricardo cooking today, guys. And if you wanna get the good sea moss, the only thing I'll say to you: go to oceanmoss.co.uk and log on on their website, or you go to chefricardo.co.uk. You see the logo. Click on the logo and get yourself some lovely sea moss. All right, guys. If you want any more information, please feel free. To Instagram Chef Ricardo Cooking or uh, drop a message below or uh, yeah reach out to me on my website chefricardo.co.uk and I repeat again take one teaspoon every morning in the cold weather help to boost your immune system fight against sore throat and a lot more stuff all right beautiful thing and you can mix it with a teaspoon with some organic honey good to go all right thank you so much for watching stay tuned in and we got a lot more recipes and a lot more tips for you to make at home when it comes to sea moss. Alright? Stay tuned.